What do you get if you mix fashion, horses, and wine? It's definitely not fast cars and yachts, supermodels, lights, or catwalk glamour. At most, there is the sun setting behind a hill, locals sluggishly enjoying their mid-morning stroll, where traditions and customs are lovingly cherished, and where visitors are welcomed the Tuscan way. Here, the most exciting thing that can happen is a helicopter landing on one of the 70 hectares of land when Roberto Cavalli visits his son Tommaso to uncork a considerable number of designer bottled wines. When I first met Tommaso Cavalli at his family home overlooking the Chianti Hills in Tuscany, it was almost impossible to believe they were father and son. Far from his father's extravagant nature and his love for beautiful women, I found a mild-mannered 40-something who had only one thing in common with his father, his passion for full-bodied reds. He's uh, the first supporter of the wine. He, he always uh, present and present uh, the wine to his friends, maybe too much. <laughs> His wines are a selection of mostly French grapes, harvested and aged in oak barrels in the cool expanse of a stone-walled cellar. Tommaso wants it to be more about the wine than the name. However, the Roberto Cavalli touch is on display nonetheless. Each new vintage comes with a touch of glamour. Different geometrical strips in gold and black allude to historic textures Roberto Cavalli used for his dresses. And while his father concentrates on his fashion empire, Tommaso has been weaving the fabrics of his life with all the right ingredients. The perfect environment, nature at its best, and a boundless passion for breeding competitive trotter horses. And it's possible, as you sip the Cavalli wine, that you are transported back to those gentle, undulating hills, to the aromas of the simple life that is synonymous with the unadulterous pleasures of La Dolce Vita.